with Maxine coming out this weekend, completing this trilogy that was created by filmmaker Ty West, I thought I'd revisit the first two films, X and Pearl, but chronologically, it is Pearl and X, and I wanted to watch those films in chronological order because, of course, these two films came out two years ago in 2022, and they were released out of order. First it was X, and then it was Pearl, but I wanted to watch in a chron chronological order, so that way I get the experience that this trilogy was crafted for and gives me better context of for when I went to go see Maxine. Now, of course, Pearl is first chronologically in which we follow Pearl as a young woman in which she wants to be a star. She wants to be an actress because she wants to get off of that farm where she is held by her parents. Well, her commentals father or unresponsive, whatever you want to say. And then there's her mother, who is just the worst. And her husband, Howard, left her there to go join the army. And so she is just stuck there. And that causes a lot of mental friction within her head and she goes crazy she is psychotic and that's how we get the psychotic old woman that we met in x but it all started here and personally i've always preferred pearl over x because what i like about pearl not just because of the visual and director style for ty west because with this movie he wanted to make a throwback to like the old 1930s 40s 50s 60s whatever era this movie is taking inspiration from but you can tell he really did his homework to make this movie feel like an old time film and Mia Goth she the rent was due when she put on this performance because she made you she, sympath, she made you sympathize with her right down to this monologue that she gives towards the end of the movie and that right there is what I like to call her obligatory moment of acting it is a whole monologue that she goes through and it sums up this entire character she just feels like she's just stuck here and it's making her go crazy and she wants more for herself and she essentially blames howard for leaving her there and that's what i love about this movie is that it is essentially a character piece and this movie is not without its horror elements because this movie does get gruesome it gets gory it gets bloody it is a hard r horror movie and then that's when you get X, which takes place during the 70s, in which we follow this group of people that want to break into the adult film industry. And so they make a film of their own. And so they end up at the barn where an elderly Pearl and Howard are. And we see the elderly Pearl and she's actually played by Mia Goth as well. So which means Mia Goth, she's playing two different roles. She's playing Maxine in X and she's playing the older version of Pearl. And at this point, Pearl, she has completely lost it. And so when she sees these group of people in her barn, shooting a porn and she sees all the sex that's happening and she's just like and forgive me for forgive my language part of my french but hey she essentially just there's no other way to explain it but she's essentially just like look i want some dick right now and i want it now and she wants it by any means necessary and if you deny her best believe she will kill you now again i've always preferred pearl over x just because of the character study and it was a character piece, but there's still some fun to be had with X because, again, it is a throwback to 70s films and it is a slasher film, but it's, in a way, a one half porno, one half slasher film. And shout out to Mia Goff for playing two different roles and playing one particular character at different points in time. Now, I got to give Gore to some of the other cast within X, such as Jenna Ortega. She has a small role in this film, and this came out in the year when she was making quite a name for herself in the horror genre, which is kind of her niche. And Jenna Ortega, she's kind of a big name in itself. And like I said, Mia Goff, she plays Maxine, so she's playing different roles, and I can't wait to see what she does with this character in the movie Maxine. Kid Cudi, he's in this film, and he's actually within the pornographic film that's being shot within this film, which is funny in itself. It's funny watching Brandon Henderson, or I'm, I'm blanking on his actor's name, but Homeboy from Torque. It's just crazy to revisit him in the movie Torque and then seeing him in here. I'm like, oh yeah, he was in this. And then there's Brittany Snow, who Kid Cudi is having sex with within the movie. And shout out to her, because she really went there. The rent was due, and she bared all. I believe I gave both films the thumbs up emoji the first time around, and so I'm sticking to that. So I gave Pearl the thumbs up emoji. I think I might actually bump it up to a hard eyes emoji, but that's just where I am right now with it. 
and then X, I also give the thumbs up emoji. And now, I can't wait to watch Maxine, so now I get the complete trilogy so I can get the full, complete experience.